This is time code, and this, and this, and even this is time code. Time code is pretty much everywhere. Here, these are hours, these are minutes, seconds, and frames of your video and audio files. And the frames are actually quite important, so let's get back to that in a second. There is a lot of hidden power in timecode, and that's actually used in professional film productions to automatically sync multiple cameras and audio recorders together uh, in post, so we don't need to do it by hand, and you can save a lot of time. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use timecode for free and without getting any new gear. So first, you need devices that have timecode. But luckily, most prosumer and high-end cinema cameras have timecode in them. So you already have that. For example, I have the GH5 camera from Panasonic and the GH6 cameras from Panasonic, and those both have timecode in them. And then you would need audio recorders that have real timecode in them. But the issue is that these, uh, these recorders are often rel relatively big and most, in most cases quite expensive. But I'll show you how you can get around that with even cheaper audio recorders. And normally you would need timecode syncing devices as well. These are these uh, devices that make sure that each of your devices timecode is exactly the same. So they're all aligned. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get around that as well. And you don't need to buy those expensive extra gear to use on your uh, kit. And the only thing you need to use timecode for free is this. Or this. Or you can use this. Actually, you can use pretty much anything that makes a loud clap. This was just for the thumbnail, you know. Um, this clap allows us to sync our time codes accurately in post, even if we don't have these expensive time code syncing devices. And the good thing about this is that you only need to do one clap for the whole shoot. You don't need to clap every time you start the camera. Just one clap in the beginning and that's enough. So do you want to see how to use timecode for free without buying any new gear? First, let's see what the time is now. Open a website that has the current time with seconds. Cameras that have real time code on them, set your camera's current time to be correct as close as you can. Then set your camera's time code type to be free run and then set your time code to be the current time. For audio recorders that have real time code on them, uh, do the same. But unfortunately, I don't have one, so you need to imagine this part of the video. For cheaper audio recorders, update your recorder's current time to be as accurate as you can. The difference compared to real time code is that without real time code, we don't have the last number, the frame number. And that makes our time code always start at frame 00. zero when you press record, even if the frame is actually 24, for example. Press rec on all devices. Clap so that all cameras and audio devices can hear or see it. This is for accurately syncing in post without expensive syncing gear. We need to do this clap only once. Start or stop the video or audio recorders as you wish, if they have real time code but keep the uh, recorders without real time code running after the clap. Because every time you uh, start the normal audio recorders, there's a random drift up to one second. And then you need to clap again uh, so that other devices can see or hear the clap to be able to sync that new audio clip as well to your time code. So then on the computer, Give different cameras and audio devices a unique camera number ID. You can do that here in the metadata section. Create a new multicam timeline. Then for the angle sync, use timecode. And detect clips from the same camera, detect using camera number. Now you have an almost synced video and audio clips on your timeline. Uh, but we need to sync them with the help of the clap. To do that, select all the clips on one track to move as one clip and align the whole track with the help of a clap and turn off snapping for fine tuning. You need to do this only once for cameras and audio recorders that have real time code. But if you have an audio recorder without real time code, you need to align every new clip.
and now the videos and audios are synced. I recommend copying the clips, all the clips from this multicam timeline and creating a new timeline, like a normal timeline, and then just paste them there, and then you can start editing. And that's how you can use timecode for free without buying any new gear. Subscribe for more. See ya.